The Dangote refinery has announced that the full set of trucks has or have left to load premium motor spirit at the facility. This came at the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited reported that over 300 trucks arrived at the refinery to load petrol on Saturday. The Dangote Group disclosed this development in a video posted on its official X account. Now, this marks the first time in years that locally produced petrol will be loaded in Nigeria. Earlier, the Minister of Finance, Wale Edong, and Vice President Dangote Industries Limited, Devakumar Edwin, stated that all agreement had been made for NNPCO to lift petrol from the facility. And even all on the side of uh, the federal government of Nigeria, the Ministry of Finance, the chairman of FIRS, we congratulate everybody for having brought us this far. And I think what Nigerians can look forward to is energy security, energy sufficiency, and as we look forward, we can also look at the issue of cost. What we're expecting that as this refinery and even others, as they ramp up production, ramp up scale and achieve uh, greater economies of scale, there should be the opportunity and there is definitely the potential to reduce their costs, which should pass on to the consumer. So we have to give them a chance. They have just started. They have done very, very well. It's a triumph, Alaji Aliku Dangote. It's a triumph for Mr. President over and above anything else. But it's also a very good day for Nigerians. And we look forward with optimism. Thank you. We were trying to see how to solve the problem of PMS supply and accuse. Now, after 52 years, now we have a solution. And the solution is local production of PMS. And it is from a Nigerian-owned company. And as a EPC contractor, it was constructed by a Nigerian company. So it's a matter of great pride that a Nigerian-owned company, constructed by a Nigerian-owned company, is able to generate PMS from the local crew and deliver not only to meet the entire requirements of Nigeria, but we can also have surplus to export. So it's a time and a moment of great pride for every Nigerian. Well, if you look at the refinery as a whole, uh, you know, for PMS alone, every day with 650,000 barrels of crude, if you are processing, we can generate more than 54 million liters of PMS. 54. Yeah, and of course, the refinery has a capacity to produce various other products too. Forty-four percent of the production can meet the entire requirements of the country. Fifty-six percent of the production has to be exported. So it's a huge refinery. So it's not only going to be doing import substitution, but it is also going to make forex generation through export revenue. So. We are going to say forex through two ways. One is import substitution, it is not spending money to import the petrol products, whether it's diesel or jet or uh, PMS. We can get uh, locally produced product and the exported product will also bring you forex. Petroleum marketers have said that the commencement of petrol distribution from the Dangote refinery will end fuel scarcity and eventually lead to a price reduction.